Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. We're here at the Expona High Performance Audio Show in Chicago. We're here with Robert Harley, Editor-in-Chief of the Absolute Sound. Robert, you've been at the show now for a day and a half or so. Uh, the first show in the Midwest in, in uh, 14, 15 years. What are you seeing? What's the real cutting edge right now in, in high performance audio? Oh, I think uh, inexpensive loudspeakers have gotten uh, so good lately that uh, anyone can afford really great sounding speakers. Uh, that's a big trend. Materials technology has improved, and uh, people can get better sound for even less money today. And also computer-based audio. So uh, more music is available to more people than ever before. So a lot, there's a lot more people maybe listening to music than ever before because it comes with your phone now, and they give out headphones when you buy a, a phone. <laughs> so everyone's listening to it, but they're not listening to the high-end stuff. Is there a, a demographic issue with this kind of music that where people are listening to not-so-good music, and how do you address that? How do you bring more of those younger people in to this field? Well, I think through headphones and, and portable audio is a good way to get it. Most people listen now through uh, headphones. Young people use headphones and portable audio where we used to have uh, college dorm systems and friends would come over. Now young people want to have mobility. So I think headphones is a good way to get people into young people into high-performance audio. And you can do it fairly inexpensively. You can get really good headphones for not a lot of money. There's also some really bad headphones out there, I have to say. Uh, Beats headphones costing a lot of money. People are, are buying them up like crazy, making millionaires out of, out of rap stars, and they're absolutely terrible. Uh, how do you address that with, with some really great-sounding stuff uh, that's even less expensive in some cases? I think we just need to expose people to listen to the comparison and listen to really well-designed headphones and let people hear what natural sound sounds like, unadulterated sound, as the artist intended it to be. Talk about uh, streaming and computer, uh, because this seems to be the convenience factor is so paramount today. People expect their music all the time with them, control it, download it, stream it, put playlists together. Where do you see that all going? Oh, that's a great trend because it makes music more accessible to more people than ever before. It used to ha be you had to go to a record store and buy a record and, or a couple of records, and now you can download music, share music, and uh, access it more, a lot more easily. You've been here for a while. Talk about one or maybe two things that you've seen here that you really like at this show. Uh, there are a number of good sounding rooms. Uh, I happen to like some of the uh, simpler sounding rooms rather than the big mega systems. Uh, the uh, Chicago Pro Musica, a retailer here, has a couple of very nice sounding rooms uh, with name electronics and Dynaudio loudspeakers that uh, anyone, uh, just about anyone could afford and it brings uh, true high-end sound to a moderate price. It sounds great. I think we're on the same page, making this stuff accessible to a lot of people. And uh, thank you for taking time to talk with us, Robert. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.